Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. And last time we had a bit of a bad start. And it improved and we got to a repetitive maze with a bunch of monkeys. But we finished with them already. And we got the yoga dispenser. Got that jackass. At the, uh, that was supposed to deliver it to us, and Foresight left it in the desert. But we got it back. Anyway, you may be wondering why I'm headed back to 3. Oh yeah, and we got the teleport ability. Well, it is an item I forgot to pick up. It's not really an important item, but this will be the best time to use it. Because it, it really only has one use, and I don't really know when I would make the time to do it again. So, we're doing it now. And this is the wrong move. We want to go with here. Well, I should not be y'all to get the middle of recording. So, I actually got up a little bit early this morning. Well, for some, it's normal time, but for me, it was an hour or so earlier than usual. Anyways, now that we got the instant of an item, what's it say? Doesn't look like we do much of anything, but... Oh well. So, and to do up that, we go to Tucson. What about Paula? I bet they don't even know she's been kidnapped again, do they? Yeah. You do that, Mr. T. You do that. And now we want to head to the hospital here. And once we're done this, we'll resume our, our real story. Yep, you go in here, don't you? Hey, ball guy. You're in perfect shape. You want more visitors? Well, if for him you can give the insignificant item. Really? An insignificant something unimportant is almost as important as your life. Good for you, guy. And for this, we get a magic truck. Which restores ADPP. Which, if you don't know the math, is four times as much as the Psy Caramel. So, very good trade off. Especially since we just used up the first few minutes of recording on this. Anyway, let's go back to Foresight and resume our story. Actually, no. I want to make Ness a little stronger. Because we've been having a few problems with enemies. Ah, the bubble monkey? But, how'd you get here anyway? <laughs> I would not put it past Dr. Sandra Nuts. Anyway, we're gonna buy the T-Rex back. Might as well get him a coin of silence while we're at it. Uh, yeah. Let's see. While we're getting rid of this, so... Yeah. I'll s First, let's buy the bat. Well, only Ness can equip it so he gets it. Oh, yeah. That was like a... Yeah, almost 50 points increase. I like that. And I'm gonna sell my defense coin. Oh yeah. And we're gonna get this new coin. Or not. Hello, ATM. I'm gonna make a withdrawal. This will be enough. Okay, let's do this. Me! 
yep. Well, I don't think it's that huge of an increase because, well, we couldn't afford anything better before. Now the question is, how are we going to get back? I think we can make it here to teleport. Back to Forsyth. Yep, we had just enough room. Anyway, apparently Monotol is made like the trout yogurt. Here she is. What? I got it. Well, I didn't say yes. No, you just stole it. Okay, that gets us into more into the building. Let's go. Luckily, this is gonna be a lot easier than the moon side part. Hello. I'm not behind you, I'm next to you. And I don't see anything with your hips, so go away. Now, let's see what we can do beyond Master Pokey's office. As if he could be a master. Yeah, I'm Jax. Oh, good. Because that makes me special. Better be special on the main character. Here we go. Alright. What awaits us here? Secret code, what? Uh oh. Robots out to get me. You can't run from these robots, but they don't pose too much of a threat. So just attack them. And you'll be just fine. Tick tock, I thought it yeah, I thought you just attacked. But these robots pose absolutely no threat to any of us. So just keep bashing in, you'll be okay. Anything in here? No. That was pointless. No. Uh oh. Are these bathrooms connected as well? We got the same groan. Unless people are doing something they shouldn't across the bathrooms. But let's not think about that, shall we? Oh, what? I never knew these things could call for help. Oh crap, I better start healing Keebler then. Yeah, I can take the hit. Keebler can't take as much though. That's more like it. And you won't get any more help. It ends now. Tick tock don't mean anything, you're gone. Oh. And we're getting some good experience between these two. Let's see. Another one? No, 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 no. Not you again. Yeah, you find a handful of these. Luckily, they do not respawn at all. Really? You keep asking for help. I'm not used to that happening. Now I really want to get rid of them quickly. Of course I won. Is this where I want to be? This place is a bit of a maze, I think. So, actually, I'm gonna head back to the other door. Where, not you, this one. Oh, it just takes us back through here. I see what you did there. Okay. Not bad. Just making sure. Because I want to get everything from this place like usual. You know what? I'll just cut this one out. Well, that went off flawlessly. 
Now what's in this present? Hmm, not bad. I'll be selling that when I get out of here, because as usual, I never use the guts pills. This one too I'm getting rid of. Oh, this one bought a bocker a bottle rocket. I'm not used to that happening either. How come it's now that I'm recording that they're using all new stuff? Should know, I wanted to talk to you. You're a maid, right? Spit for maid. Okay, I guess you're not the one we were supposed to talk to. Because you didn't give us any yogurt. No, not this robot. I'm doing a double check with this door. I thought so. What's in here? Ah, oh, crap. You know what? I don't really need the picnic lunch. I know. Vital capsule we're gonna hang on to. Increases vitality and with how behind Paula is, well, Sakura that is, we might need it. Now you seem a bit different. Clinkity clinkity brada wa wa. I think this program has a few problems. Because it's a boss battle. And like with these, I'm going on defense to start out. Clumsy robot. Reapply the bandage just means that it's trying to heal itself. So we'll have to take it out before then. I got nothing there. So shoot him. Hurry up. It has shield signal. Oh yeah, this is why I don't auto battle. But that seems like this happening. Crap. Oh Well, that didn't turn out well. I'll be back in a bit, guys, and hopefully I'll do a bit better. Okay, and I'm back. Got this on this sudden gut spill and going to the, to the hospital to get Jeff back. Here I am. And one thing I remembered went on my way when I sold it. Said I have the large pizza that can heal both of us. If we suffer mortal damage like that. So let's take this thing on once again. Alright. We know already we can't use Yeah. We can't use our strongest attack because of that shield sigma. So we'll just have to attack more. But we can at least fortify ourselves. So that it won't completely destroy us when it attacks. Right, being solidified is okay. It's better than taking a lot of damage. If this is all he's gonna do, I'm okay with this. In the area, what are you, Chibi Robo? Right, one more shield and we should be okay. How does a robot eat a sandwich? Alright, now we should be okay if he'll stop dodging. That's more like it. I think this one has like just under a thousand HP. So we're a little bit halfway over. Maybe a bit more. Right. Oh, that doesn't heal. Never mind. Oh yeah, you're, you're getting some healing keyword. Ow. I don't have time. Oh, that 
house over. All of a sudden, some guys rush into the room. The runaway five! Hey, that is damn music to play. Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I'll flip the switch and it stopped. Ha ha ha. Jeez, what a loser robot. So easy to stop. It's quick thinking. And it's not moving. Now that doesn't happen after so much time. It happens after you do enough damage to it. And with that much d done, we level up and continue forward. We're not expecting you guys. What's up? You don't have any money. How'd you lose what little you already had? Well, you just did help us and pay us back. I bet it's who you think it is. Bathroom's over there, but there's some groaning in there. I'll head in there. That's enough. Please stop. I give up. I really do. Hey, weren't you the guy? This looks strange. Can I skin you on? I can pray here. I'm so weak since I lost the statue. Look about the same as when I saw you with it. You better not have a little bastard. Sakura, return to judge. Sorry, Chris, what's trouble for you? <laughs> yeah, you finally made it. Like, you've just been waiting for me. Well, I did it once before. He's a weak person. Of course she did. So what do you got to say? Do tell. Body money starts to create an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power escapes so much I hid this statue in Jackie's cafe. Doctor went net to pray. It's not a god. Words appear to me in the illusion. My name? Why? Stop jogging and do it so by your own hand. Or, don't let them go to Summers. Or, make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want to go to Summers. Evil guy gets or something. So, is that one of his machines then? Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Or in the country, you should definitely go to Summers, especially because Dave won't want you to make it there. No, I don't want to hear it. You're not the fucking Al from Zelda. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Ah, I knew that that looked off. You must go on, Jagus. This is your destiny. I think you spent enough time with her already, old man. Wow, that's some old stuff she's got. Well, start off by giving the big bottle rocket to Keebler, because only he can use it. And then we're going to take this vital capsule and use it on her. Because she's going to need it. How far behind it is she? Oh, she's a handful of levels behind. Let's take this helicopter and get the hell out of here. Ah, it's all ready to go. Um, are we supposed to get in there? You again! You fucking fat bastard. Yeah, you always run away when it gets tough, don't ya? Oh well, you suck. 
Yes. And just where do you think you're going? Right. And you're this little bitch who runs away. No comparison. Well, so, Monotoli, do you got an airplane we can use or something? I bet it would be better than a helicopter. No, you don't. What the? She's having another vision. I'm sure of it. I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to three. Yet, I know somehow that's where we must go. So let's get going already. Uh, not that much. We just had a little chat. Oh, excellent. Let's get going. And onward we go. Too bad we have to backtrack through all this, but at least we get some more upbeat music on the way back. Please to make it back to the elevator. What? Who's calling? Who? Apple Kid again? S well, huh. we already know who it is. You are a bit late to that. You're no genius. Quite just being. What the hell is a phase distorter? Yo, yo, Keeble, you might want to talk to this kid. He's looking for your daddy. Well, looks like we won't be seeing him again. Hello. Yeah, I am. Nah. <laughs> yeah, she, she actually responds the same way no matter which option you pick. And now we've lost the upbeat music. How sad. Oh, I did pick up again. I got my sound down on this TV, so I don't pick up my mic, so I can't tell. Oh, will you stop it, stop it with your hips? No one gives a crap. Not even me. Anyway, let's head on out of here. Now who's calling? Oh, Orange Kid. Working on a why? You could just not boil the egg and it'll still be raw. Idiot. Yeah, I was just annoying you. Oh, excellent. Let's get going. On the tree. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going. Well, I won't cut this out, because this is the last time we'll get to see these guys. Or actually, not really, but the last time is going to matter. So for now, let's enjoy the ride. And I'll be quiet. Alright, we made it. Sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, they were on your side when you're having a tough time. Just think of this runaway fox thing so far, far away. Why, why do you come back here? Now, we found an insignificant idol. 
but they're actually not too far off. Because remember, we started this section of the journey not by entering Threed from the cave, but rather from underground. That's right. We're going to have to fix up the Skyrunner. I'm sure Keebler's learned almost enough by now to do it. So let's uh, get going here. It's right where we crash landed. After being ambushed by the zombies. Hey guys. You just painted over them? Instead of fixing it? Yeah. We were never here that long anyway. Take a look. Here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. Okay. That was easy. Yeah, that should do it. Now if we board the sky weather will take us back to winters. We have sand in that cell by can modify the machine to fly to summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. Sanders, is not available, I'll figure it out myself. Anyway, let's head back to the lab. Said, go machine, go! And so we're headed back the way we came. Will this be a faster or shorter trip? Hopefully shorter, because this recording is running on for a while, even though there is a big chunk of it I'm cutting out, plus a few bits I'm getting rid of too. Still gonna take a while to get there. But what is this happening, uh, yesterday at, I did uh, so my Christmas shopping. Actually, I've done a little more than half of it already. Just got a handful of people to go. So what about you guys? Have you finished or started your Christmas shopping yet? And if not, when are you plan on doing it? I'll probably uh, finish up mine uh, next week. Because I have a good idea what I really want to get the people I haven't bought for yet. And for this year, I can actually afford to get people things that are more than $5. Uh, that was a good way to come into winters, talking about Christmas. And apparently, she found a monkey friend. So. Sticky here with my husband the other day. Oh. Well, that was quick. Don't stand with mouth on the sail of So, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Oh. Yeah. What's there? Oh, yeah, we did go through a cave on our way. What, you going on your honeymoon or something? Have fun. Hello. That's me. I did not need to know that. Alright. Rainy soap away. You run what do you understand? Oh. Alright. Oh, beef jerky, eh? Yeah, I'll get some beef jerky. I'm pretty sure it's one of the best healing items in the game. So, actually let me read how much it does. Making jerky. <laughs> Six months? Why well, that make it kind of thick? Oh, it is better healing sound than that, but that's really damn good for this part of the game. And anyway, with that all done, I think we'll call it part here. And since they're pretty much telling us to go there, in the next part, we shall check out that cave just north of Stonehenge. 
Until then, everybody.